So what is the issue today? Um, well, I've been driving this car around for about a month now. Any place where I'm sitting for a while, maybe traffic, I get stuck at a really long red light and you don't move that much. I uh, was wondering why my heat keeps coming and going every now and then. And certain mornings, if I remote started the truck and let it run for a while to warm up and I come outside, it's ice cold inside. And the fan is just blowing outside air. It's, it's just freezing cold. There's no coolant in it. There's not going to be enough to get to the heater for. So, Advanced Auto Parts, across from my job, doesn't seem to have the Mopar coolant that I need. I'm going to run over to Walmart. It's a shocker, yeah. I know. Walmart has the coolant for a originally $60,000 truck. I paid less than $20,000 for it, but, you know. So that's what we're doing today. We're running over to Walmart, getting some coolant, and then we're going to talk about a couple other things. First things first is going to be the radio and subwoofers, you know, got to have my base, can't live without it. This does have air ride suspension, and I want to go a little bit more than what it has already. If anybody knows of anybody who's done something like that, I've seen a guy called White Rhino, apparently a 2014 WK2 Jeep that's uh, that was converted it was the eco diesel. It was converted to air ride and put on 34s. I want 38s. That's not going to be easy. I had 38s on my old 2005 Colorado, and the 38s on there they they look decent. They they weren't that filling though. Still some decent gaps in the in the wheel wells. And I knew I could have gone larger. I just didn't have the money for it then. Now is also a different story because I don't have that truck. I've got a Jeep now. Jeeps are known for fitting big tires. I'll, I'll splice in a picture of the white rhino that someone sent me on the forums. It's a pretty nice Jeep. You know, I would like to get the SRT headlights too, but I think I'm just going to go custom LED in general. It's just it's, it's a lot of work. Here's a good thing, kids. Pay attention in high school because you never know when you're going to need that random math knowledge and geometry because I need it badly right now. That's another thing. The airbags at full lift, it's like it's literally like riding on a rubber block. You're it's not cushiony at all. Every bounce just rocks the whole thing. And that's why I want to look at I've heard of airlift or air shocks. I want to get something that I can link up to the factory system. Now I do know somebody who's gone and put um a better compressor in it after the compressor in the stock vehicle failed uh, and I do plan on putting some other little goodies in here that would include an eight gallon air tank with that being said I know I have all the parts to do it I just don't have the know-how so if anybody out there is watching this and you got some good tips for me whether it be on a Jeep or any other vehicle you may have done something with I know the Ram Rebel has factory air ride suspension but I've never heard of anybody upgrading that. You know, if anything, maybe they put stronger bags in it so they can get a heavier load, but that's about all I've seen. I want to do something different. Everybody wants to do something different. Eventually, I'll get this wrapped. Eventually, I'll get new rims. Eventually, it'll be riced out. But we got to start off slow. It's still winter here in New Jersey, and uh, anything less than 50 degrees, I really don't enjoy being outside. Boosted Boys, I don't know how you guys do it all the way up in Colorado. That stuff's freezing. I like snow, but I don't like the cold. So I know a little bit about how the um, Quadra Track 2 or Quadra Track 1, I, I know how this air level system kind of works. I've seen some videos online of how to level a Jeep once you put bigger rims and tires on it. But that, that'll come in handy when I put the bigger suspension on. What gets difficult is modifying the current strut towers and everything like that to make not only new air shocks fit in, but I, I would like at least four to six inches more of travel over stock suspension. Why do you need that much height in a Jeep? It's a Jeep. Uh, why would you need that much height in... A Grand Cherokee? Well, why wouldn't you? It'll be a fun project. Just gonna be a lot of time. Also, 
if anybody knows a uh, company either local to the tri-state area or east coast that does plasma cutting for a decent rate I uh, eventually need some parts made I got a couple of things in mind I want to build a bumper for this too here we are we're at Walmart so we're just gonna drive a little bit drive a little bit drive a little bit that says pharmacy oh my lord did they ever clean this damn parking lot look at it garbage just flying everywhere so glad to be at Walmart right now not really just driving in circles trying to find a close spot because I don't feel like freeze my ass off. We're gonna go walk in there now real quick and see if they got the stuff we need. The guy at AutoZone said oh yeah yeah Walmart definitely has it but Auto see I don't that's why I kind of don't believe him why would Walmart have coolant for a Jeep and not AutoZone okay wax polishes Preston. Preston, any freeze coolant. Um, super tech. You said they got Mopar stuff here. But I ain't see it. This is all cleaners. These are all cleaners. I'm a little upset. Light bar. Let's get a light bar. No, that's not. That's not get a light bar. I eventually want to get some of these. I think that's dope. And then they have one side that blinks when you turn on your blinker. I think that's dope. Oh, they got rock lights. That's bright. I'm blind. Yeah, I'm blind now. Now we're uh, we're gonna order stuff online because it's cheaper. I'm Typically better quality is the Mopar stuff. I need coolant. I'm gonna kill this engine driving around with no coolant in it. It's like when I when I say there's like there's coolant in it because I still get heat, but there's not enough. It my reservoir is dry. Let's go see if we can find some help in Walmart. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Uh, somebody told me that you guys might have the Mopar coolant here. Um, I don't think we have like any. <clears throat> manufacturer coolant. It's mostly just like um, the off-brand stuff. Gotcha. Do you know any place that would have the Mopar coolant besides the dealership? Because they wanna um, they wanna charge me forty five bucks for it when I know it's like twenty. Yeah, online. It's like your best. Online. Like a third party that's like similar to that. Yeah, I can't. I know, dude. I, I, I drive a Volkswagen, and it's like the same thing with coolant. It's just. I can't wait online because I I just bought the truck like oh, sure, really? a month ago and. I've been driving around for the last month and the reservoir is dry. Really? So sure, yeah, you should definitely drop it off. Yeah. Um, I mean I mean is there something you'd recommend or Um honestly I wouldn't recommend anything like from Walmart but coolant wise I don't even know where we would have our coolant. Do you see any bottles of coolant at all? You got the Anything? Prestone stuff over here, but only the GM and I see like the you got Kia Hyundai and such. Uh, it's yeah. all about like if it's organic and stuff like that. I mean, you could use this coolant, just do a whole flush. That's the thing. You can do that too. I mean, do I do I want to do a flush though in forty three degree weather? Uh, yeah, <laughs> especially if you have no hose too. Yeah. Any place nearby, you think? Um, go to like AutoZone. Hey, that's they sent me here. Really? Yeah. Damn. They said they they don't have it. The they said that it should be at Walmart. I'm sorry though. No, you're good. That. That's all right. I'll uh I'll have to do some research online and see where I can find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just look up like what you could use and. Some of this stuff you just can't mix. Yeah. Uh, I, I learned that the hard way, so yeah, don't yeah. want to do it again. All but right, man. Thank you for the help. Have a great day. You too. Oh, so much for that. I guess we're going to have to tool around a little bit, see if we can find the Mopar coolant, which nobody seems to have. And if I'm going to the dealership, the dealership in general, that's, that's where I get a little annoyed. Uh, bought the car from the dealership and you would think like most trade-in vehicles the dealership even though it's even though it's not certified pre-owned they're not going to go and replace things on it but you'd at least think they would you know you'd at least think they'd check the oil check the fluids make sure everything's topped off nope just handed me the key said 
Have a great day. And back outside we go to freeze our ass off. That is nice. I want fenders like that. Fenders and tires like that, but I don't think the tires will fit. It is cold. We're gonna catch you guys in a minute. We're gonna look on Google, see where I can find this Mopar coolant. All right, so Walmart was a no-go. I stopped in at work because I got a guy who's a Mopar guy and uh, asked him, Got a, I can't even remember how to pronounce the damn name. Hoet, Hoet. H O A T, and uh, I literally cannot find this stuff anywhere. My phone won't give me like Google won't tell me any local place that'll have it. It just keeps saying, "Oh, AutoZone, Walmart, Prestone, GM, Dilute." No, I need the Mopar stuff, and then the Mopar stuff that it does show me later on down the list is all eBay, 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 which I don't trust eBay in general. Which I never buy coolant off of eBay because that's stupid it's probably just a bottle full of water that they're shipping you and I mean that's that in my opinion I feel like is a little bit hotter than it should be my Malibu always sat under 200 this is both the oil and the coolant are above 200 which is a little worrying if I keep driving around like this, it's going to brick the car. And when I called the dealership this morning, uh, well, I have to call, I have to get in touch with our, man uh, our manager because I don't see payment here. Do you want me to bring the vehicle to you and show you? I should just drive over there and see what they say. Hey, you know what? Let's do that. It'll be a fun video. So now we're at Napa. Hopefully... These guys, out of a recommendation, hopefully we'll have the coolant we need. So let's go on inside and see what we're dealing with. How you guys doing? Would you happen to have coolant for a 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee? I've been searching all over. AutoZone told me Walmart. Walmart told me online. Special coolant? Special cool. They say it's a special Mopar mix that. So what, 2012, you said? Mm hmm. It's a 2000. Uh, no, Grand Cherokee. Grand Cherokee, it's the 5.7. You know what color it is? Well, it almost looks like a pinkish. One of my coworkers told me that it was like a, uh, a very light orange. The issue is I really can't tell what it is because my reservoir is completely dry. So that's the issue, too. I could order online, but I can't wait a week for it to come in driving around like that, you know? I mean, if anything, I'd almost say if it was still in there, it'd be a color like that, but I don't want to just grab anything off the shelf. Oh, the hope? Yeah. So that's that's what my coworker was telling me, the so HOAT. I tried calling the dealer asking them if they could get me some coolant since it came dry from them. Oh. I mean, granted, it's not a pre owned or certified pre owned, so I know they won't. They should still check it. They, they should still check it and do a whole fluids change on anything that they take in, but no, I, when, I, when I got it, I got it the day they got it in trade. So. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, I think it's this one. As long as it tells me in the computers, it will make sure it has hope. And that, that's hope. Okay. That's what a lot of the Dodgers take, you know, Christian. Yeah, so. Um, at least you get you by, you know. For yeah. I mean, I used to mix cool into my Malibu, and I know it, it gels up and it gets or disgusting if, in there. If you mix Dex Cool. Oh, Dex Cool? Dex Cool. I mean, it'll make the color. You mix tech school with like with this, it will gel up. Yeah. It's different. That's what I'm trying that to avoid. Should be, that, should be, that should be fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I guess I get a bottle of that it's then. 50, 50, so you can pour it in. Perfect. My main issue is that it's so low that every <coughs> goes out. Yeah. 
1812. Better than what the dealership was going to charge me for it. 30 bucks, 38 bucks. They were looking for like 42 and change. Oh yeah. Yeah, 42 and change after they didn't put any when I bought it. Try calling the guy who sold it to you, see if he would have. I called, yeah, it's a, it's a saleswoman. I called her. She didn't answer. I called her twice. Sent her a text too. Called the dealer. Uh, sales transferred me over to service. Service put me on hold for about 10 minutes trying to get in contact with the manager and then said that they needed to approve with the manager that I had purchased the vehicle. But they, they had me on file as purchasing the vehicle, but she needed to clarify that I purchased it. What dealer? It's uh, a... <coughs> really? Yeah, <coughs> Jeep Dodge Chrysler. Uh, how, how hard is it that I'm just pour some in real quick? It's, it's a million to one task. I pulled up the one day and I asked, you know, hey, can I get somebody to put on my plates? You know, because when I bought the car, she said, yeah, when the plates come in, just pull in the service center, someone will put them on. I pulled in the service center. I go inside, there's like eight of them standing around there, just doing nothing. I said, hey, uh, they said my plates came in, somebody would put them on for me. So they make me pull out, go stand in the rain while I wait 15 really? minutes. Well, I wait 15 minutes for a salesperson that wasn't my salesperson to come put them on. Meanwhile, you have 15 other guys standing in the shop doing nothing, and they could have just grabbed a screwdriver off of their desk and done it no problem. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.